The Rangers AGM was today, and it's not exactly over yet, but I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to make another video on it, but what a waste of time it looked, appeared to be, because I tell you what, right, some of the questions getting asked are just not pressing issues. Like, and that's why I just don't take these AGM things fucking serious. Like, this board should be getting grilled about the sirens that we've made and, and the consistent failures trying to bridge the gap to Celtic. I mean, even even allowing the gap to exist. You know, why did we bring in Sam Lammers? Why did we let people go for hee-haw and all this crazy bollocks? But see people asking the board about, my bus is, it needs priority parking so I can get back to the boat. Wet. See that? See that? See that, man? See if you need to get back to the boat. Then how about you leave early? If, 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 it, if it really fucking matters that much. I mean, honestly. Or get a later boat. But I've worked in the morning. I couldn't give a rat's ass. I mean, I just don't get this. Like, are these, are these the questions that Rangers Football Club need to be getting grilled here today? About... Bus parking? No, it's not. And yet, it's not the worst thing I've heard today because Philip Clement was in the presser and he was talking about this. He says, that's the idea, to do some things, but will not be a lot of things. I'm thinking, hmm, what the, what's that? What is that talking about? But it turns out he's talking about the January transfer window. Rangers boss, Philip Clement, is telling fans there won't be Wholesale changes to the squad in the January transfer window. And that trips is where I go from raging to suicidal. Because this team needs changes. This team needs a lot of changes. And here, I am not delusional. I'm pretty sure that in order for us to make a lot of business happen, or a decent bit of business happen, we're going to need to offload quite a lot of players, especially the ones we brought in in the summer that are flops. I'm not delusional. I just, I think we, we, we need, by the sounds of it, we, we'd be lucky if we got one signing in. And I'm sorry. I just don't think that is acceptable. I don't, man. I, I think we should be. I just, I, I just do not get it. I just do not. What, what are we doing? Do we just want the gap to get bigger? Like, I just do not, I mean, obviously spending a lot of money is a risk, right? And I get it, we're not financially fucking blessed here in Scotland. But did the board not see that if you actually spend a bit of money, bring a bit of quality players in, rectify what happened in the summer, we could, we, 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 we could win the league because Celtic aren't good and get that Champions League money. And, you know, more money we win in the league, even though it's not much like compared to first and second. It's just, they, they, they sit on their fucking hands and, and they just expect first place to fall into their fucking laps. Take fans for granted. And then, instead of getting grilled, they're getting asked about bus parking. I mean, come on. Come on. And here, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not burying anybody like that, you know, needs to make it home or whatever for a certain time, even though it sounds a bit embarrassing when you put it that way. But it, it's not the time they ask, man. I mean, maybe you could say, well, it's the AGM, it's when you can ask the board to quit. Aye, the, the, the hard-hitting questions about the fucking football club, not about where Big Davey parks his fucking bus around the side of the stadium. I'm sorry, I'm not having it. We're in a we're in a state of fucking, I mean, not exactly, it's not exactly crisis-like, but, I mean, do we want to just give Celtic another league title? What's more important, stopping those bastards or where your bus is parked for priority parking? Honestly, man, get in the fucking bin. I'm fuming at that.